two of Making Waves, where we shall add splashes of colour onto our 3D wave. Now, we're on to the second part of our exercise, and our modelling pace seems to be nice and dry now. Just give that a feel on the thicker parts, and that's fantastic. Now we're ready for the painting. Now, open your tub of impasto gel, and I'm putting a heap teaspoon in each well. Now we're going to pour our um, 200ml acrylic Montmartre paint out. Now we're going to use start with the blues, and with the blues I'm using pearl sapphire, cerulean, uh, ultramarine, cobalt and Prussian blue. So let's pour these out. I'm pouring these out in equal proportions to the amount of gel that was used. So it's a 50-50 mix, so that should be relatively simple. Now, you don't need to mix this too thoroughly, because basically when you put it on the canvas, the brush will mix it in. So the viscosity of cottage cheese is fine. Okay, let's delve in. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of my purple and a little bit of my ultramarine. So dip your brush in a little bit of water and then scoop your ultramarine out and put that onto there. Now we're going to do something pretty crazy here. going to mix a little bit of purple onto here too. And we're going to basically mix it on the canvas. So lay this paint on really thick because we want it to be fun and the whole thing is in, about impasto so don't hold back, lay it on thickly. Lay it on thick. I'm happy with that sky. Now let's move on to our wave. This is getting really exciting. We're going to use some cerulean blue mixed with a little bit of white. So let's just slap it on there. So I'm just leaving the high parts because they're going to be the throff. But it'll all be overpainted. But it's sort of like a way of building the painting up a little bit quicker and... Keep painting this in. Okay, so I'm just building up this wave, and if you notice, my strokes are actually following the way the natural progression of the wave, and this is important, just as important how we did that strokes, those strokes that way, those strokes that way, and these strokes that way. Just take your time. You could use a bigger brush if you wanted to, but I'm just enjoying myself building this up using a small brush. Now I've built up my cobalt type colour and I'm just going to darken it in the corners here just to give it that, that cylindrical quality. So I'm going to mix a little bit of cobalt there. So from that I'm going to mix in a little bit of Ultra Marine, oh, Prussian Blue, sorry. Okay, I'm just going to start mixing in a little bit of um, Ultra Marine into here. This will be painted over, but it'll give a warm look behind it because it's a fairly warm blue, this one. And that's why I'm just putting it in light, because it is just going to be shining through. I'm going to put throff in over here. Now, the blue on our wave is now dry. The next part of this project is we are going to mix up a translucent mix of green and acrylic medium gloss 
and paint it over this uh, wave and certain bits will shine through but you'll be able to see the blue under the green. This is actually called a glaze. So let's mix up our paint. So we mix these 50% to 50%. That keeps things nice and easy. So in goes our Veridan. And in goes our Montmartre Acrylic Medium Gloss. This part of it is just building it, building it up and dropping sort of most of the colours that we have here and there just to create a little bit of interest. So I'm just going to put a bit of um, our pure cobalt up the top here. Okay, now for our froth I'm using some pearl white and some titanium white. And obviously these resin patches, we're just gonna just gonna put a little bit on here and and lay a little bit on here. And there'll, again, there'll be no rules to this. It's a, we'll just build it up. Now we're gonna use our, our palette knife set again um, to put this on. I think that's a logical way to put such a large amount of of um, paint on. So I'm gonna. Start this with my number two. And I'm just going to work up here first. And I'm just putting the titanium on. Now I'm just adding a little bit of my pearl white into this. I'm just to add a little bit of sparkle when the light shines on it. You'll notice that I'm flicking the paint with my fingers. I'm just dipping the fingers in the paint and flicking them. You can't get this look with the paintbrush. That's why it gives nice sea spray regular splodges of colour. Well, I think that is about our wave finished. So um, thanks very much uh, for joining us and I really hope you tried this um, project because I've really enjoyed it. So uh, thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.